mga kada, nako very interesting ito ha, dahil hindi rin po ligtas sa COVID-19 ang mga bata. Maari silang madapuan rin ito at pwede rin silang makakawa. Karamihan ho sa mga kaso ng COVID-19 sa mga bata, hindi malala. Ngunit kung minsan ng COVID-19, nagdudurot ng malubhang mga infeksyon sa kanila. Ang mga bata ay maaari din magkaroon na mga pangmatagalang epekto mula sa virus na kilala bilang long COVID. At kahapon mga po ay naibalita ng Department of Health ang nakakaalarma na pagtaas ng mga nahawa sa COVID-19 mula sa mga bata. Kaya naman isinusulong na ng gobyerno ang pediatric vaccination. Mas maraming taong mababakunahan, mas magiging ligtas po tayong lahat. Para sa mga magulang na hindi pa rin pumbinsido sa bakuna, lilinawin ng ating guest doctor ang ating mga katanungan. We have Dr. Joanna Cuayo Stanislao. Good morning, Doc! Welcome back sa kada umaga. Long time no see. Welcome, Doc. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Long time no see. Oo, mukhang busy ka yata, Doc. Kamusta, kamusta ka naman? At ang iyong mga pasyente, Uh, it's it's been a year, no? <laughs> Actually, since we entered January, <clears throat> medyo madami talagang cases, ano, since we, we entered 2022. Kaya, ano, it's very stressful for the parents, also for the clinics, no? Pero, we're getting by. Mm -mm. Okay, that's nice to know, but not so nice to know that even uh, kids are... Uh, na in, maraming kids din na nai-infect sa panahon ito. Kaya unahin muna natin, Dok, uh, please uh, clarify yung sintomas ng COVID-19 at yung common flu at yung uh, common cold. Kasi maraming mga magulang po at talagang nako-confuse. Ano ba talaga? Ito ba'y COVID? Ito ba'y cold lamang? Ito ba'y cough lamang? Or ito ba'y flu? mm, -mm. No, the thing, the difficult thing talaga, no, is that they're really, ano, they all present very, ano, similarly. So, mm -hmm. um, ang common symptoms kasi ng COVID, no, are fever, colds, cough, sore throat. So, basically, um, it can yeah. be like the flu. It can be like yung common cold. Ang um, ginagawa po natin sa ngayon, no, is dahil nga ang most common na sakit, Right now with Ngayon. our uh, community, it's it's really COVID. So, yes. ang, this, ang pinakaligtas na pwedeng gawin ng isang pamilya is kung meron tayong family member or household member na may ubo, may... Usually, no, ang unang symptom na nararamdaman is medyo may katina sa lalamunan, mm -hmm. um, medyo may konting ubo, um, and then a bit of a fever. So, pag nagkakaroon na ng mga symptoms, it's better to start isolating, no? Assuming already that may COVID ka. Kasi yung um, hihintayin mo pa na magpa-test, which is admittedly medyo mahirap ngayon, no? Kasi daming daming taong may sakit. We also don't know um, kung valid ba yung mga antigen test na binibenta ng kung sino-sino, no? Kaya nga nag-release um, ng memo na yung DOH about, about that. So, Um, you know, between between having to wait pa for a test before you decide to isolate, better to just isolate and try to keep everyone as safe as possible sa ngayon. Kasi mm -hmm. there's really no way to know um, without testing. But yes. um, knowing that it's already yung pinaka-prevalent ano, na, na sickness sa atin ngayon, it's better to just be safe, isolate, and, you know, wait for your symptoms to go away And to complete the period, what's a couple of days versus, you know, lahat kayo may sakit na? Mm -mm. Mga ilang araw, Doc, do you suggest na mag-quarantine uh, ang ating mga kada to, to be able to say na parang, oh, ito, we've uh, given it enough time to run its course para malaman natin kung ito ba'y COVID or hindi? Yeah, oo. So, actually, kahapon nag-town hall yung DOH, no? about that and lately medyo medyo nagkakaroon ng confusion kung gaano katagal yes. um mm -hmm. ano ba kahaba ano ba yung uh, kailangan nilang alalahanin no so review tayo konti pag may ano ka exposure sa taong may may symptoms no um ikaw ay close contact so ang gagawin mo yes. dapat is 
quarantine, no? Quarantine yes. the exposed. So quarantine um if wala kang bakuna or partially vaccinated ka. So partially vaccinated ay isa pa lang nakukuha mong bakuna. So mm-hmm. um magka-quarantine ka for 14 days. Kasi um mm-hmm. because you are still partially or unvaccinated Um, mm-hmm. hindi pa ganun kagaling yung katawan mo na i-recognize yung illness at labanan ito. So, your wait time is a bit longer. And then, dapat natin mm-hmm. tandaan, ang day zero mo is the first day, or the, sorry, the last day na na-expose ka dun sa tao. So, kunyari na-expose ka okay. kahapon, yun yung day zero mo. Day, day zero. Mo mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, that's quarantine. If you are vaccinated naman, no, so 14 days kung partially or unvaccinated, kung vaccinated ka, ma- mas maikli. Kasi nga, um, you are you are more protected no, compared yes. sa mga unvaccinated. So they are able to shorten it to 7 days. Okay. So if you are vaccinated, parang half the time na lang hihintayin mo. After that 7th day, um, Um, quarantine period, you're you're considered clear from the illness. No, Hin- ibig sabihin hindi mo nakuha. Which so, oh. yun ang quarantine. No, that's if you are exposed. If you are symptomatic mm-hmm. or you test positive, that is when you isolate. No, isolate the infected. Mm-hmm. So isolation. Um, if you are ill, ang um, sabi ni sabi DOH at CDC, it's um 10 days. So, why 10 days? Kasi um, we want to be sure na your viral load or yung amount ng um, mm-hmm. virus sa katawan mo, mababa na that hindi ka nangaka, na, na nakakahawa. At tandaan yes, po natin, days. yung 10 days po na yun, kailangan doon, tatlong araw, wala kang nararamdaman. So, mm-hmm. um, anong ibig sabihin nyo to? Kung kunyari, um, day 8 na, saka pa lang nawala yung sintomas mo. So, di ba hanggang 10 days dapat? Pero dahil day 8 ka pa na, na wala na symptoms, and you need 3 days na wala kang symptoms, 9, 10, 11, day 12 ka pa lang aalis ng isolation. So, okay, mali na. Ganun po tayo magbibilang sa ngayon. Ang yung, on the issue of the healthcare workers, etc., I think uh, DOH will release a memo today. So, let's wait for that po. No? Pero in general, um, for the... general population, ganun po yung bilangan. Ang isolation, by the way, dapat vaccinated, unvaccinated, pare-pareho lang. No? Magbabago okay. lang po yun, like if healthcare worker, meron po sila mga contingencies, but um, DOH will, will have to discuss that, um, I think, today. No? Okay. Thank you very much for that. No? Napaka-klaro <laughs> napaka talaga ni Dr. Juan na mag-explain eh. Kaya love na love po yan eh. Go ahead, Wayne. Maganda yung pagkapaliwanag niya, Pia. At saka, eto, Dok, ha, uh, maganda yung pagkapaliwanag mo doon sa bagay na yan. Pero uh, simula nung nakaraang taon, sinimula na rin ho yung pagpapakuna sa mga 12 to 17 years old. Safe na po ba natin masasabi itong mga COVID vaccine na ito para sa age group na ito? Oh, yes. So, um, the fact na meron na tayong EUA, so emergency, yes. so... It means that it has already passed through the phase three, no? Um, we already yes. know that it's safe to give already. It's been given to millions of kids na, and alam natin na um, it's effective in, in stopping mm-hmm. the virus, and the side effects are minimal. So like any other vaccine, meron talaga minsang side effect, and I'm sure as ad- the adults already know this, no? Can, you can get fever, you can have sore arm, Um, para kang na- yeah. nag flu but um between having that vaccine side effect where you know it's just really the side effect of having your immune system exposed to a vaccine so that it can build immunity um mas okay na yun kesa yung mismong sakit oh, naman no? basically kasi Sa- when you get vaccinated we are showing to your body a part maybe a part of the virus, um, usually ganun, na marirecognize niya, so magbibuild na siya, parang gumagawa na siya ng blueprint kung anong gagawin dapat yes. niya against mm-hmm. that virus. So that, when you actually get that infection, your body already knows how to fight it Knows off. what to do. It knows what to do. <laughs> yes, so yung Uh-oh. pag andyan na infection, wala ka pa defenses, ah, mas mahirap po yun. No? We don't want Tama. that. 
Mm-hmm. At saka, Dok, could you explain to Arcada sa ano po ba yung mga risk factors para sa mga bata pagkapag serious yung kaso ng kanilang COVID? Okay. So, ano, no? Um, anybody can get severe COVID. I just have to be clear. So, mm-hmm. ang mga risk factors lang talaga are the ones that, of course, put you at greater risk of having severe COVID. So, either way, you have to be careful, but... Um, there are certain populations or certain um, factors that would affect na medyo mas prone ka na mas pangat yung pwedeng maging sakit mo. So, um, in general, kind of like the adults, no? So, any chronic lung disease puts you um, mm-hmm. at more more risk of having more severe COVID. So, mga asthma, if like mm-hmm. mga preterm babies, what we call chronic lungers, kasi uh, either na-intubate sila nung baby sila or medyo... Mm-hmm. You know, pinanganak sila na hindi pa mature yung lungs, that can um, make their lungs a bit more um, vulnerable. No? Vulnerable, uh, yes. Mga immunocompromised patients, mga may cancer, mm-hmm. naka-long-term steroids for any reason, or mga naka-immunosuppressants, um, mm-hmm. mga kids who um, natanggalan na ng spleen. Um, and then, yung mga similar factors like sa adults, yung mga may hypertension, kasi we know na it affects the same receptors or the same um, um, thing as uh, mga naka, may hypertension. Kaya nakikita natin na mga, mga ad, kahit yung mga adults, same with kids. If you have hypertension, you're also more at risk of um, having bad COVID. And stuff like diabetes, there's also diabetes in kids because diabetes also affects your immune system. Um, this can mm-hmm. be also a factor. So in general, mga chronic diseases that would um, affect po yung immune system mo, also would affect your ability to fight off the virus very well. And it can also put you at risk of having a more severe case of COVID. Tapos, uh, Doc, meron pa ako isang nabasa tungkol sa um, kids experiencing low co- uh, long COVID. Yung parang uh, after the fact na halimbawa nakapag- uh, 10 or 11 days na sila in isolation, meron daw mga lingering effects like uh, chronic fatigue and uh, brain fog na that lasts um, for months. Totoo po ba yun? And uh, have you encountered something like this here sa Pilipinas? Yeah. Me- we have already ano, no, multiple um, accounts and of course we hear also from our colleagues abroad na there are really um, cases of chronic fatigue both in kids and adults. So you're right, no? Mga parang feeling nila palagi lang pagod, parang feeling nila hindi sila as listo as they used to be, or mm-hmm. uh, ayun, generally ganun yung mga symptoms pag long COVID. So um, in terms of my patients, no? So I'm only speaking from my experience, Yes. Um, wala pa naman. But okay. there, I do have colleagues who have had kids who complain na parang they don't have as much energy as they used to. Um, na parang feeling ng parents din mas mabilis mapagod. So this can really last a couple of months. So um, how does it get resolved? Over time, um, they're hoping it will resolve over time. Usually a couple of months. So you know, um, we don't see it very, very often. We don't really have the numbers mm-hmm. to tell you ilan sa mga mm-hmm. bata ang may long COVID symptoms. And it's also more difficult kasi not all kids naman you know, are able to verbalize, di ba, na palagi yes. sila. Mm-hmm. So, you know, mm-hmm. we we just have to support them on yeah. their symptoms, on, how, on their recovery. And hopefully, it's something that just lasts a couple of months, like what they've yeah. been seeing, you know, um, in, yeah. like, see, like in the U.S. Mm-hmm. And it's a good thing, uh, Doc, na alam na ito ng mga magulang. Para sa ganun, mm-hmm. eh, hindi nila ito i-interpret as tinatamad lang, di ba? Kung nagkaroon yes. ng COVID yung right. mga anak nila in the past, they can actually process this as uh, still lingering effects of covid Dok, yeah. yung mga below 12 years old, safe na ba mag- mag- mabakunahan? Kasi hinihintay ko rin po yun eh. <laughs> Kasi oh, for sure. Sa age Uh-oh. group na yun ng mga anak ko eh. Oo. So, um, actually, may EUA naman na din tayo sa Pilipinas for the 5 to 11. No? Um, we are just waiting for the stocks to come in. So, ang sabi po ni DOH, 
pag may stocks na po tayo, um, pwede na po magbigay. Um, so uh, probably like what we did with the 12 year olds most likely it's gonna be yung mga may comorbids muna no yung mga may yes. asthma may mga cancers etc um, we have to remember no uh, it's not the same vial that we, we yes. use for the adults so we really have to wait for the stocks of okay. the uh, 5 to 11 vaccine to come in so okay. let's be let's be patient. Hopefully, it's very soon. We're also anxious for it. We're waiting for it. Pero ano na? It's it's like that in the US. Um, I've had some of my patients actually go there over the holidays to get it. It's safe to give, and um, okay. it's effective. So we're, we're it's just a matter of time. We're waiting for the stocks and for DOH's um, advice on um, when they will be starting the vaccinations. Mm-hmm. Well, so, ito naman ho, pag, pag-usapan natin ito. Kasi may mga paniniwala, ina natin, alam yung mga kababayan natin, mahilig po sa mga ano eh, nakasanayan na. May sinasabi ho sila, yung iba nating mga kababayan, na mas totoo ba na uh, mas safe daw yung mga bata to build immunity by getting infected with COVID-19 than to build immunity by getting the vaccine? Ano po ba ang mas totoo dito, doktora? I um well I already see Mom Pia no? she's already shaking her head. <laughs> oh, you, you know, <laughs> we don't want anyone to get sick with COVID. Of course, mm-hmm. we were just talking po no about yung long COVID symptoms. So um and you don't know kung talaga bang magiging mad lang yung COVID ng anak mo. Do you really want yes. to take that risk na ah yeah. Most of them are mild or asymptomatic. Okay lang naman na siguro para matapos na. It, it, that's a very dangerous way to think about things, no? We don't know who's gonna get bad COVID. We don't know kung sino yung mas magiging malubha ang sintomas. And um, if we already have something to protect them against it and its long-term effects, why not get it? It's it's. Millions of children and millions of adults have gotten the vaccination safely. No, if there are side effects or um, there are people na merong adverse events na I'm sure na babalita natin, tandaan po natin kahit ano pong gamot meron pong ganon. So um, mm-hmm. it's just a matter of talking to your doctor about it, knowing what what the risks are, what what are the expected side effects, and knowing that na the side effects of a vaccine are more acceptable, you know, mm-hmm. for us compared to getting the actual illness. So, Correct. Uh, I don't know, it's a very long and very, um can be a very heated discussion. But me, you know, when I talk to my, my patients, although wala pa naman ako masyadong na-encounter na ayaw magpabakuna, no? Most of them are very anxious na for the vaccine. You want that protection for your child, for your loved ones, and for yourself. Alam, so, alam mo, Doc, believe it or not, ha? may mga naririnig na mga ganyan sa mga co-parents ko, sa mga schools, na uh, they will not allow daw their kids na mabakunahan ng isang experimental drug. Yun ang sinasabi nila. Uh, would you care to comment about that? Um, we are already we've already tested the vaccine before it gets an EUA. The reason mm-hmm. why lang it's not yet what we call yung nga FDA approved or um na nasa, tapos na yung phase four because phase four takes years to complete, no? Um, and it, it mm-hmm. it's where it includes yung um ongoing monitoring once you start giving it to the um general population. So, hindi naman na siya yung parang kinagawa ka yung lab rat, no? That's what's also what I hear sometimes. These are already um, vaccines that we have been giving millions of individuals, including children. And because of the scrutiny, kung gaano ka tinititigan at tinitingnan ng mga tao yung mga nangyayari sa mga vaccinations, this is the most heavily monitored vaccine ever. <laughs> no, can you imagine yes. how much controversy it has sparked? So, talagang bantay na bantay na bantay po tayo yeah. sa mga mga COVID vaccines. So, I hope this is a reassurance. No, I mean, 
there will definitely be a per- percentage of the population who who may experience more severe um, events. But this is very, very, very rare. And um, it's better to get the vaccine than to not. You know, if we want to be Tama. able to protect your yourself, your family, your loved ones already, compared to getting it the natural way. You no, know? both mm-hmm. ways are honestly natural because you're just introducing something to your body that will in- induce your immune system to already pro- provide mm-hmm. the blueprint for when you actually get an infection. So. Um, both ways, your immune system will do its job. It's just that yeah. we make it easier for it when we give it through a vaccine. It's a safe and regulated amount of the vaccine, di ba? Pagka, uh, of the uh, virus, di ba? Direct kap- uh, kudok, kapag, <laughs> kapag vaccination. Gulo-gulo na ako, ikaw na nga, Wedge. <laughs> Ito at <laughs> Oh, it's, 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 to talk about no I don't want I don't want I, you know we are not in the business of forcing people to do anything um masasabi lang po natin is um millions already have received the vaccine and we will see benefit from getting it kasi when you get it your body is better able to fight off the infection. You, you decrease your chances of transmitting the virus. You lower your viral load. So, And then your, your symptoms, if you do get it, are milder and quicker. So, you know, yeah. a lot of benefits from getting the vaccine. And I hope that would encourage parents to get their kids inoculated also. <laughs> the, the fact that, you know, we, we even know that they require a smaller dose that means it's already been tested and they found that that is the dose that's efficient and effective for these children. So, hindi lang siya basta-basta po. No? Sinuri po natin yan at very, very meticulously monitored nga po. Kasi nga, a lot of people are afraid of it. So, we, of course, the medical and scientific community want to make sure na it's, it's as safe as it can be. As, as safe as possible. Yun nga eh. Ito na po yung pinaka-monitored na vaccine in all history. Wedge, ikaw ito, ba may mga ka pa? Mm-mm. Oh, ito, to be, yeah, kasi I have a friend na buntis siya ngayon sa kasalukuyan. Um, pagka buntis ho ba, safe sila magpa-vaccine? And kung magpapavaccine sila kahit po buntis sila, wala ho bang side effect yon para sa baby? And at the same time, paano naman ho yung mga hindi pa buntis pero gustong magka-baby, nagkakaroon din daw po ng fertility or reproductive problem dahil sa bakuna? Okay, so... Una, it's safe to give for pregnant women. But again, like okay. any other drug or any other vaccine, get clearance from your OB when to get it. No, So they will tell you naman ano yung timing, kung kailan best kunin yung vaccine. But it's safe in pregnancy. Um, for people who want to get pregnant, um, it does not affect fertility. So they there have also been, I don't know, um, news or rumors na it can affect even the kids ano ability to ano no get um to be fertile down the line so um dahil nga po malaking concern yon there have even been studies about it na does it really affect fertility and so far there is there's no evidence to support that no um it's so difficult to filter out the noise but if you are unsure please consult your doctor your trusted doctor rather than you know um just anybody or any other any article lang online go to the source of good information go to the sources of good Tama. information hindi basta basta sana maniwala ang ating mga kada sa lahat yes. na nababasa nila especially when it comes to uh materials they find in social media Dok, pa, paano nga pala, halimbawa, asymptomatic yung bata? Eh, how will you, di ba, even get the urge na itest sila kung asymptomatic at wala ka namang na-observe na difference in their behavior or in their health? Mm-mm. So kung, this is, I am supposing this is dahil na-expose yung bata or something, no? So, again, um, the best way talaga is if you are exposed to somebody who has symptoms or has tested positive for COVID, I ano na, you have to quarantine. So kahit araw-araw, araw-arawin mo yung test, araw-araw ka magpa-test, 
the gold standard talaga is to finish the quarantine period that is required of you. So again, that's seven days if you are fully vaccinated. Fully vaccinated mm-hmm. is just the two shots, no? Hindi naman na necessary na bilangan pa kung may booster ka or wala. Basta you're given the two shots, you're considered fully vaccinated. Seven days. If you are unvaccinated or partially vaccinated, you have to complete also the full 14 days. So kahit you test every single day, you still have yeah. to complete. No, it you cannot shortcut yeah. things. Not especially mm-hmm. not now, but definitely even if it wasn't this bad, the surge, you still have to complete the quarantine period. But uh, it's safe for you. It's also safe for others. Doc, I think we've covered a lot of ground. Na uh, we should let you go. <laughs> uh, sure, kami na marami ka pang gagawin ngayong araw. So we really, really thank you. Uh. Uh, Doc Joanna, as always, for your time and for your very clear explanations. Maraming salamat, Doc Joanna. And uh, we pray that your patients will recover fast and uh, recover well. Mm-hmm. Thank you for having me again. I hope you guys all stay safe and be very careful, lalo na po ngayon, no? And I hope everyone is already vaccinated, if you can be vaccinated. If not, please do get back your vaccines <laughs> your LGU. And hopefully soon, we have, we'll have good news about the 5 to 11-year-olds. Alam ko, marami yes! na excited na. Kasi na, you know, ma- lalo na ngayon, ang hirap-hirap. So, yes, soon, no? Mm-hmm. Sabi po ni DOH, as soon as the stocks arrive. Yan po ang huling balita po sa amin. Okay. Doc, maraming maraming salamat. Please stay safe. And uh, I'm sure maraming kada natin ang isi-screen cap to or i- ibabalik-balikan para to serve as their guide in or uh, right. to keep their, their kids and their families uh, healthy and safe. Bye, Doc Joanna. Maraming salamat po. Bye, Pia. Yeah, Bye, po. Thank you. O yan mga kada, mas malinaw pa sa sinag ng araw mga eksplanasyon ni Doc Joanna po para sa ating lahat. Kaya importante Correct. na alamin din yung mga nararamdaman ng ating mga anak. Ah, talagang usisain natin yan, hindi pwedeng, oh, how are you today? Alam mo, mga anak natin, always one answer uh, responses yan. I'm good! So talagang kulit-kulitin ninyo <laughs> at uh, himay-himayin ang pagtanong at uh, pag uh, pag um, pag ask sa kanila ng mga questions so always remember na hindi po sila immune sa COVID-19 kaya dapat na alam po natin kung paano to maiiwasan at alamin din ang tamang pag-aalaga sa kanila okay up next marami po tayong na discover na kaya pala nating gawin 